Taoism has many meditations and contemplations that we kind of need to practice every day and ideas that we need to reinforce in our mind constantly, especially considering the world that we are all raised in, where we're raised in a world that's very unnatural and thinks in a linear way. Whereas Taoism itself is a natural path, it's a natural methodology, which is trying to bring you back to your nature and harmonize you with nature, which actually is a non-linear system of thinking in some sense. And so there are so many contemplations and meditations to bring you back to that. The one I want to speak to you about today is Taoism's vastness meditation. Now, this is not so much a meditative practice, but more of a daily mantra or meditation when you're uh, just living your life, reinforcing into your mind that from the absolute perspective of everything, the Tao, all of our problems on a personal level, and even in some sense from a collective level, are insignificant. Now, that may seem heartless to the situations that we are going through and that the world are going through. But the point of this practice is that if we didn't take ourselves so seriously, no matter on an individual or collective level, we wouldn't have any of the problems that we have today. And you wouldn't have any of the problems that you have on an individual level. It's when we forget about the Tao that all of this arises. We see many chapters within the Tao Te Ching that speak about the forgetting of the Tao. And once we've forgotten the Tao, then we have a contrived view of the world and we have an artificial system that we superimpose onto nature and then we all endure this socialization process, which then create inauthentic people. And so then we are not genuine. We are not as nature intended. But if we remain as nature intended, naturally we would always be thinking about the Tao. We would naturally be thinking about the absolute. And all of the Eastern spiritual traditions are trying to get us back into that state of consciousness, trying to bring us back down the earth so we can understand the vastness of the Tao, the vastness of this universe that we find ourselves in. So part of Taoist practice is to always remember that. So when a problem arises for you on an individual level, pause, take a step back and think about it from the perspective of the Tao. Does it matter? Now, there's a second part to this meditation that I've spoken about a lot on the channel is that we often think that our problems matter because we take ourselves too seriously. We think we are special in some sort of way. I've heard people over the years say that only they encounter these problems. But we all encounter the similar problems in life, but we always overblow it when we forget the Tao. We think that it's only us who experience these problems. So to always remember the Taoist vastness meditation, we have to stop taking ourselves so seriously. And we have to stop thinking that we are more special than an ant. I've had many teachers reinforce that idea into my mind that you are no more special than an ant. Now, that's not to be thought of in a defeatist manner, but why we ought to think that way is that ultimately we are part of the planet, not something that is special to it. I've said this many times, if we take all the ants away from the world, we're going to be in a lot of trouble, right? They serve a purpose. Human beings serve a purpose as well, but we forget what that purpose is because we forget the Tao. And having this higher level of intelligence that we have, we get very clever and we want to serve our individualistic needs or our collective needs. And then we find opposition with other people on an individual level and other groups because we forget the Tao. We don't know we all go together as one as with everything else in nature. And if we understood that, we'd live in a far different world. But as I said earlier in the video, if we understood that our problems on an individual level were insignificant and we remembered the absolute, then everything would be peaceful because we wouldn't take ourselves so seriously. Our problems wouldn't be overblown as to something really significant. And we often do that no matter whether we're on the spiritual path or not. A lot of people get caught or in some sense trapped in this idea that they are too special. And you see this all the time where people think they are even on the spiritual path. They think they are more special than others. And so then that 
brings them a lot of trouble as well because they think highly of themselves. And then so when things go awry in their life, then all hell breaks loose because they're taking themselves too seriously and their problems are more significant than yours. Now, these are things that we need to watch out for on the spiritual path. And this is what Taoism's vastness meditation does. It constantly brings you back into the, that idea that your problems are insignificant from the perspective of the Tao. And so that means that you need to live your life effortlessly in harmony with the Tao and where your life goes, that will be as it will be. It's not something you have to overthink about because once you are out of the way as the ego, then the Tao can use you as it will. So then you won't take your problems as to be serious because those problems only exist for the ego. They don't exist for the ultimate Tao. And that's part of our spiritual practice, right? Once we keep reinforcing this Taoist vastness meditation into our mind, the more our ego downregulates, and then we can see the world as it truly is, as opposed to how the ego sees the world as this and that. We don't see it as this and that anymore because we are one with the Tao. And so we move as one with the Tao. And so when problems arise, we deal with them in an efficacious manner. We don't get involved or overly engaged in them. We just resolve the matters and move on quietly. And that's the benefit of Taoism's vastness meditation. And so every morning before you engage in your life, bring your mind back to Taoism's vastness meditation and think about the problems that you have to resolve today and all of the concerns that you have and even contemplate why you are taking yourself so seriously. Are you only thinking about yourself? That's a big problem we have in the world, right? A lot of people suffer because they think constantly about themselves. I have this to do. I've got to do this. What do they think of me? Blah, blah, blah. And often when you're thinking about yourself all the time, it can bring a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. So when you put your mind on something else other than yourself, that can be a great relief. And so this is what Taoism's vastness meditation does. Every morning, bring your mind back into that place and then go out into the world and live your life. But you will notice you will be living to a different beat of the drum than everybody else because you will have brought your mind back into that true place of vastness that the Tao really is that dissolves all of your problems and takes you out of the equation to allow the Tao to express itself however it chooses to be. Shanti, shanti, shanti. Thank you.